In the outer reaches of our solar system, hidden forces shape the paths of distant celestial objects, hinting at the presence of an unseen planet. Dubbed Planet Nine, this elusive world could hold the key to unlocking new aspects of our cosmic environment. In this video, we will explore the latest discoveries suggesting its existence, examine the evidence that supports this theory, and discuss the ongoing efforts to track down this mysterious planet. The search for Planet Nine began with anomalies in the orbits of trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, like Sedna and 2012 VP113. These objects, located beyond Neptune, exhibit orbits that are highly elongated and tilted in such a way that they cannot be easily explained by the gravitational influence of known planets. The hypothesis of an additional planet, lurking unseen in the distant reaches of the solar system, offers a tantalizing explanation. The evidence for Planet Nine is primarily based on the gravitational effects it appears to exert on these TNOs. Studies indicate that several of these objects share similar orbital alignments, suggesting a common gravitational influence. Statistical analyses of these alignments argue against them being the result of coincidental clustering, pointing instead to a perturbing planetary body with a mass approximately 10 times that of Earth, located hundreds of times farther from the Sun than our home planet. Researchers have utilized advanced computer simulations to model the dynamical behavior of the outer solar system under the influence of such a planet. These models show that a massive distant planet could naturally lead to the types of orbital architectures observed among the TNOs. For instance, simulations predict that Planet Nine could maintain its orbit over the age of the solar system, while herding TNOs into clustered orbits through a process known as mean motion resonances, where the gravitational pull of the planet and the TNOs synchronize over time. Moreover, the search is guided by detailed analyses of the orbital mechanics involved. These analyses take into account factors like the orbital period, inclination, and eccentricity of potential orbits for Planet Nine. By correlating these theoretical orbits with the observed orbits of TNOs, scientists can refine their predictions about where Planet Nine might be located. The intrigue surrounding Planet Nine also involves its potential origin and the implications for planetary formation theories. If such a planet exists, it might have formed closer to the Sun before being ejected to its current distant orbit by gravitational interactions with other giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn, a common occurrence in the chaotic early days of the solar system. Alternatively, it could have been captured from another stellar system, which would make it an extraordinary example of planetary migration and capture dynamics. The distant objects of the Kuiper Belt seem to move along paths that cluster together in a way that's hard to explain by chance, given the vast distances and sparse material in that area. The way these paths align, especially at their closest points to the Sun, suggests that something big and unseen is influencing them from afar. To better understand how a single planet could cause such dramatic effects, scientists use computer models that simulate the solar system's dynamics. These models include both the known planets and any theoretical ones like Planet Nine. By inputting data like the masses, starting positions, and speeds of these celestial bodies, the simulations can show how their gravitational forces might interact over millions of years. Time and again, these models have shown that a planet with the characteristics predicted for Planet Nine could be responsible for the unusual orbital patterns observed in these distant objects. Moreover, to ensure these findings aren't just flukes or caused by mistakes in observing, researchers use a technique called Monte Carlo simulations. This method uses random sampling to test how likely these orbital configurations would occur on their own, naturally. These simulations have helped confirm that the alignment of these orbits is most likely due to the gravitational pull of Planet Nine, rather than any errors in how the observations were made. Traditional methods of planetary discovery, such as direct imaging or transit observations, are challenged by the extreme distance and faintness of potential objects in the far reaches of the solar system. Instead, astronomers must use indirect methods, inferring the presence of a planet from the gravitational effects it imparts on other celestial bodies. 
This approach is not without its critics. Some astronomers propose alternative explanations for the observed orbital phenomena, such as the cumulative gravity of numerous smaller, undiscovered objects beyond Neptune, or even the influence of a distant, undetected star. These hypotheses prompt ongoing debate and further research, highlighting the dynamic and evolving nature of space science. Each new piece of evidence contributes to a greater understanding of not just the potential Planet 9, but also of the broader processes that govern planetary systems. This ongoing work exemplifies the scientific method. Hypotheses are tested against observations, theories are refined, and our understanding of the universe expands. The recent study titled, A Pan Star's One Search for Planet Nine, represents a significant milestone in the ongoing search for this hypothetical planet. By leveraging data from this survey, astronomers have made considerable progress in narrowing down the potential locations where Planet Nine could reside. One of the key outcomes of this research is the elimination of 78% of the sky area originally thought to potentially harbor this elusive planet, based on earlier models and predictions. The study achieved this by focusing on a completion depth of V21.5, meaning it surveyed the sky to a visual magnitude of 21.5, at which point about half of the sky area could reliably be ruled out for hosting a planet with the predicted characteristics of Planet 9. This depth of survey is critical because it balances the need for comprehensive coverage with the practical limitations of telescope sensitivity and time availability. The areas that remain of interest are particularly challenging for observation. These regions are near the galactic plane, where the density of stars significantly increases the difficulty of spotting faint objects like a distant planet. The interference caused by the crowded star fields and the interstellar medium can obscure the weak signals that telescopes try to capture. Moreover, the paper discusses the implications of these findings for future searches. With 22% of the parameter space still unexplored, the focus shifts to more refined and targeted observations. The upcoming deployment of the Vera C. Rubin Observatory is poised to play a pivotal role in this next phase. Its advanced optical capabilities and wide-field camera will enable astronomers to scan the remaining search areas more effectively than ever before. The Observatory's Legacy Survey of Space and Time (LSST) will conduct a decade-long sky survey, cataloging billions of objects and providing detailed data on regions where Planet Nine might be located. With its capability to detect faint objects over a vast area, the LSST is crucial for spotting the subtle signals that could reveal this elusive planet. Theoretical advancements are crucial in directing the observational search for Planet Nine, ensuring efforts are aligned with the latest scientific insights. This collaboration, highlighted by data integration from PanSTARRS-1 and contributions from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, exemplifies modern astronomical research's collaborative nature. Whether or not Planet Nine is discovered, these efforts significantly enhance our observational capabilities and deepen our understanding of the universe pushing the boundaries of space exploration. This approach provides a thorough exploration of the scientific, observational, and theoretical frameworks that drive the ongoing search for Planet Nine. Thank you for exploring the depths of space with us in search of Planet Nine. This journey, whether it leads to discovery or not, highlights the power of human curiosity and our unending quest for knowledge. As we continue to peer into the unknown, each effort brings us closer to understanding the universe around us. Stay curious and keep exploring with us. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars.